Hey everybody, Michaela Vernava alongside Doug Kide at Gillette Stadium where the Patriots have defeated the Atlanta Falcons 23 to 7 and it was the first game all season that they gave up fewer than 300 passing yards and they did it without Eric Rowe and Stephon Gilmore. I am jumping on the Batamosi bandwagon, <laughs> which kind of begs the question, should they stick with him now even when Rowe and Gilmore are ready to come back? Maybe. I mean, he's playing so well. The Patriots defense has really pulled things together over these last couple of weeks. Even against the Jets last week, they looked really good in certain parts of that game. And that's while Batamosi was on the field, on the field out here again. They limited Julio Jones. It wasn't perfect. They allowed 99 yards to Julio Jones, the touchdown, which was pretty tough to defend. Bill Belichick even said that. That's just one of those plays that he makes that you can't really defend. But Batamos, he's looking really good. The Patriots defense as a whole is looking good. So maybe he replaces Eric Rowe for the meantime, even if Rowe can come back, just because he does look so good out there. He's a good tackler. He's solid in coverage. Teams don't seem to want to target him. It was a nice little find for them, at least in the meantime. Tonight was definitely a good sign for the Patriots defense that has had its struggles earlier in the season. Did you take it as a sign of disrespect that the Falcons seem to keep going for it on fourth down? Yeah, I did actually. And I, they wouldn't say it, the Patriots defense wouldn't say it, but I think they might have too. I mean, the, the Falcons did go for it on third down or on fourth down three times. The last time was kind of a last gasp, trying to get back into the game type of situation. But earlier they went for it on fourth and six, fourth and seven. That shows a serious lack of respect for the Patriots defense and the way the Patriots defense played in the first four weeks of the season, you can't really blame the Falcons. The fact that the, the Falcons did convert on one of those fourth and longs, that tells you enough right there. But Patriots defense did certainly gel together in this game and they stopped two of those fourth down attempts. And I don't know. I mean, I think everyone's a little bit hesitant to, to call this defense good or anything, but they certainly looked at tonight. I will say that I certainly think I don't know if we but can go good yet but they're good and they look definitely good. in in the right direction and good. no revenge for step. the Falcons tonight they went 54 unanswered points if you count <laughs> going yes. back to the Super Bowl before they finally got on the board and mm -hmm. got a touchdown so unfortunate Patriots finally allowed points in their color rush jerseys Previously, before that touchdown, they had not allowed any points in their color rush jerseys because they huh. shut out. Uh, That's the key. Was it they the have to the keep Texans. wearing yeah. the color rush jerseys. Yeah, That's sharp. probably why the defense was so good tonight. Absolutely. Keep it on Nesson.com for all your Patriots news.